Hello everybody and welcome back to Where the Fun Begins. Scott, you in a bad mood? No. Chilling. What's going on with you? Oh, nothing. Had an amazing day at work. As yeah, always. that was cool. How was your day, at Mason? It was boring. See, you can't you can't let it be boring. It just happens. It's all right. Yeah, no problem. All right. So first thing I want to talk about: freaking Girl Scouts. Why? <laughs> because someone. Why can't I just walk into my local Walmart without being harassed every single time? Did you buy a box of cookies? I, I bought one. Yes. <laughs> just so the way <laughs> I can say the next time. I already bought some, but yet they're all like... And is that going to stop you from buying another box next time? Yes. I don't anymore. I have not bought a box in uh, my past eight trips. Mm -hmm. I've only made eight trips since the first purchase. I usually oh, well, buy some for family. Like, that's just a thing that I will happens not give around them. here. I will not give them any of my money again. What, what kind did you buy? Do you remember? I don't know what they're called. I got like the peanut butter stuff in the middle. And then, like, chocolate on the outside. Mm. And a red box. They're my favorite. No. They weren't very good this year. Thin, Thin mints. Thin mints are good. Those I like the coconut. lemonades. Eh, lemonade ones are all right. The coconut ones are really good. But no, Thin mints are the best. I don't really what, eat them. What's your big problem with the, the Girl Scouts, Jory? Just, you can't, just, it's, it's just harassment. Is harassment? All... What do the Girl Scouts do b b besides sell cookies? I think that's it. I think that's it. Um... For, uh, what is it, 10 months out of the year, they just, uh, they work on their, uh, I don't know what the word is for it. Salesmanship, I Inter suppose. Interpersonal skills. Yes, that's the, that's yeah. the political you, you correct way. You need those in the wild. It's the PC way of putting it. Yeah. And, uh, You're going to sell 30,000 boxes. They get what they want through, um, I don't know what, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm thinking is. Child labor. Uh, no. Perseverance. Perseverance. That's <laughs> They're up there every day from 5 to 10. What you don't see behind hustling. the curtain and the cookies is that their legs are shackled to the tables. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd believe it. That's I've never seen rough. them standing up and walking around. Me neither. They're always staying at the thing. I did see in Colorado uh, a Girl Scout troop set up right outside a dispensary. Weed cookies. Yes. That would be awesome. That's where their money That's should be where going. The they should just That's strictly where... go to Colorado. They, that... Well, they should just strictly go to weed-influenced boxes. There's the kid version, and then you get the adult versions. But it everything. couldn't be the Girl Scouts if they're distributing it. Why? You can keep, like, a 12-year-old girl No, you always get the moms cookies. with them and stuff like that, and the scout so leaders. So you're going to go, I need some Thin Mints, but the good kind of Thin Mints. <laughs> yeah. Thin Mints Green, that's what they're called. And then there's lemonades green. <laughs> and then there's uh, peanut butter green. The green edition. The, the green edition. edition. I need some thin mints. The green, in, the green some edition. Thinner mints. I need the thinnest <laughs> mint. Anyways, thinnest I mean, I can't be have. the only one that feels bad walking in every single time to Walmart. No, I'm going to shut these. Shut okay, these, here's a question. Shut this operation down. Here's a question. You walk to Walmart, you see the, the thin mint girls. Yeah. You buy a box of cookies because. You do that when the Girl Scouts are selling cookies. Everyone does it at least once. What about when the Salvation Army is ringing a bell? Do My you wife give... always gives money. But she's always got change. No, she always uses dollar bills. Straight up Well, I mean, bills. yeah, but she has like physical amounts of money. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, do I don't have physical amounts of money. I have a either. card and that's it. And that's... Do the Girl Scouts accept cards now? Dude, there's those squares that we use for band, band and stuff like that. Like... They might. They can do that. Oh. Sure. It's a sad if day they're and... smart. All right, Girl Scouts, get on it. Just saying. Yes, I always donate. We always donate to Salvation Army unless we just don't have any cash on us. Yeah. So. Usually if I buy something in the store with cash, I'll give the change because, I mean. Good for, good for you, man. Good for you. But if there, okay. What if there's a Salvation Army guy dinging a bell and a Girl Scout selling boxes of cookies? Who would you buy from? Um... I don't buy anything. I give the money to the Salvation Army. It's not buying. Mm. So you'd walk away from cookies? Yeah. You're, uh, I don't really eat a whole lot. Those little girls ain't going to school now. 
No, they'll. There's other suckers. Ethical out Ethical questions. That's what we bring to the table here. All right. So you either give money to the Salvation Army and help the poor, or you help or the girls. You buy cookies. And help these little girls go to college. Yeah. That they're not going to graduate hey, from. Hey, hey. Or they're going to graduate from and not get a job because there's no jobs. But is that for you to decide? There's no jobs. There's, there's, it's, it's just a I mean, just a, is it our responsibility to do that? Or do you just keep walking and then you don't yeah. even get cookies? Well, here, here's the thing. Like, this is the thing going back to like last year's all and, and 2016 and everything like that. We have the ethical question of, is it my responsibility to help somebody else? Or is it my duty as a, as a human to want to help someone else and do it or choose not to. Like, you know, hey, if you've got the extra funds and you want to do it, hey, that's your money. You do what you want with it, yeah. right? But the flip side of that is, hey, that's your money. You should be able to do with you what, what you want with it, but sometimes you can't do what you want with it. Mm -hmm. I once heard a wise man say, um, to succeed in life, hey, <laughs> to succeed in life, hey, Come here. To succeed in life, do not invest in your bosses. Invest in yourself. I think it was like Winston Churchill. That sounds like Michael Scott. No, that sounds better than Michael Scott. That sounds like someone who Michael Scott would quote. And then is that name. Michael Scott? No, it's not Michael Scott. Because you were watching Office earlier. Yeah. Um, I think the last thing I heard him say inspirational was, um, don't ever do anything to anybody ever. Something along those lines. See, that does sound like Michael Scott. Yeah, that, that, that's got him right on the He nail. elaborated more, but, I mean, you, you get the gist of it. But, yeah, I don't remember who said this. Hmm. Maybe no one said it. I don't know. I mean, it's smart. Invest don't, in yourself. <laughs> don't do anything ever to anyone. <laughs> See, invest in yourself, don't invest in your boss, sounds like a, a pyramid scheme thing, mm. where you are your own boss. Well, you know, I like, I like the whole thing where it's like, uh, people are like, as a boss, you're supposed to be a leader and not like a dictator mm. type thing. You know, you're not supposed to be swinging the whip. You're supposed to be like leading the way, leading yeah. the charge. And Ninety stuff percent like that. of people who quit their jobs don't quit because of the job. They quit because, they quit of, the because boss. of the boss. Yeah, and that's Winston because Churchill a, also said that. There's a bunch of bosses out there that are like not really leaders. They're just they're just a form of people who are getting boss. paid more. Yeah, they just get paid more and they can tell you what to do. So. I don't know. But anyway. Basically, great topic about to talk the, about. Great, um, great topic. Like how that went from Girl Scout cookies to just... Theolo uh, theor no. Theological? No. I think it's because it's February. We're getting into the year and like all of the, all of the New Year's resolutions are starting to fade off. And yeah, it's already a month in. I yeah. haven't done crap. What do you hope to accomplish by the, by the end of the year? By the end of the year? Just, um, just one thing. Oh, man, dude, like... I don't know. I, I would honestly, my honest thing is just make make this Extra Life thing a, a success like this year. Hey. I think that would be something doing? that we can accomplish. That Extra Life on the, 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 the Y3K? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. At the, at the Amarillo Comic Con. Oh, so. No. No. Mason, one thing you would like to accomplish by the end of the year. Um, pay off some of my debt. Mm. on my cards Ooh. because that's a thing that needs to happen you're just adulting all the time aren't I you know. doing your taxes instead of playing video games I with know. us even though it was your idea to play that game and it just ruined the whole stream hey it wasn't my know. idea anyways for good on Rockstar you for being an adult giving your change the to, the, to the to the new and year. i'll have you know i did finish my taxes so that's check off my <laughs> list hush it hey come here come here sit down sit like fuck you. <gasps> oh. I've got an idea. I have jerky. Let us lace it with cyanide. <laughs> Sit. Okay. Here's a here's a topic, a relevant n new topic. It's still in uh, fresh in the people's minds. A Super Bowl. Now, I don't do sports. I didn't watch it. I don't watch sports. I didn't sports. watch it. Um, we I've said streaming. this before. I, I did not want the Patriots to win. Yeah. Because they're, they're kind of like the uh, the spoiled child of the NFL. They really are. Um, but I also didn't want the Eagles to win. I, here's the thing. I wanted them to win rather than the Patriots, but I didn't want their fans to get the satisfaction of them winning because their fans are garbage. So there you have it. 
the Patriots players are the worst and the Eagles fans are the worst. Like, did y'all see the videos afterwards? They were out in front of the stadium flipping yeah. cars. Well, they had to shut down City Hall or something like that. And, like, I saw that's dude, what they do. They riot out. all the time, no matter what. Just, rip a I don't chair know why. out of the stadium and take it with him. I mean, that makes sense, yeah. Why not, right? I guess he wanted a souvenir. Um, <laughs> and I'm not saying just, like, Eagles fans in general. I'm talking about, like, the people from Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, they're the worst. I mean, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. It's completely oh. right. They that's got that city down to yeah. a T. With the way that people are. I mean, I've never been to Philly. I, I think it's just people in general. Or that side and of the country. It's just, past it's Texas. A, maybe it's a smaller group of people. Like, they in general, riot no matter like, what. Like anything. They'll just riot. They'll so they won and they, they still rioted? Yes, they, they just riot. That's what they do. Like they burn fight. stuff. They flip things. They loot. They pillage. Drink up, me yardies, yo. <laughs> They're like the Vikings. And that's no joke. You can Google it and there's, there's pictures. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. It's off to riots we go. <laughs> and the whole stream is just going to be filled with just noises. No, because she doesn't have her own mic yet. Yeah, she doesn't have her mic yet. we oh, got to get her pick it still. up. That's the type of sound that just travels forever. <laughs> like Spencer's. <Stop>. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Scott, what did you want to talk about? Uh, well, I got a couple things. Um, I talked to the uh, promoter there for uh, Yellow City Comic Con and Extra Life event. And he's got um, the dates down. So the dates for this are going to be on April the... Let me get it back. 13th. 13th, 14th, 15th. Through the 15th. Yeah, 13th, 14th, and 15th. And so far we have two, uh, two different people uh, already signed up to go. Over here. Hey, over here. This hand. Ooh. We have Walter Emmanuel Jones, which was the original, the original Black Ranger. Black Power Ranger. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and then we also have Amber Nash. Excited about that one. Yeah. yeah. Who's gonna, who plays, um, is it Patricia? Patrice? Pam. 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 Hey. In, um. Archer. In Archer, yeah. Mm. So that'll be kind of cool. It will be kind of cool. There's also an, an illustrator there that's gonna be there too. Okay. He did, uh, a bunch of things. He, like, drew some of the people for a Star Wars cartoon. Also, mm. um, the person from Power of Girls. Which, Which one? one? Uh, the bad guy, the uh, oh the him, monkey? yes, him, yes, sweet, Jojo, oh, Jojo, him, the uh, like the devil-looking person, with oh, the yeah, the, the like, dress, yeah. yeah, skirt, yeah, awesome, that's cool. I, I forgot really his watched. name, but he will also be there. It was it not called him? No, it, it was him. Been. Yeah, him was the oh the name. I he talked well, that's always this? what they call. I think oh, he did God. have a name, or she, he, oh. she did have a name, but I think they always that's, called him him. That's appropriation, Scott. You just assumed. I well, you know, his slash her gender. Yeah. Well. I think the voice actor, he did an awesome job anything. of like hiding whether what was going on. <laughs> I think it was just the illustrator. There should be a picture of it. I saw a picture of it on Facebook. I never I really watched Powerpuff yeah. Girls. You missed out. I watched Dexter's Laboratory. Dexter's Lab was cool. That was cool. Ed, Ed, and Eddie was the shit. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, anyway. Like Johnny Bravo. Yeah. So I based my life off of. Do they, they, with me. they did uh, They did elaborate that we're going to be uh, in the gaming section of the room. We're going to be in the, uh, I don't really know what the technical term is called for it, but it's going to be the gaming room. And uh, we'll be in there, we'll be, we'll be doing live streaming, and we'll be uh, also hooking up another computer so that kids can play there and uh, have some little games for them to play as well, like Stick Fight and things that they were enjoying last time. Um, now... This is the big one, right? This is the big one. This is the big one. Because the last one we went to, it wasn't the... It was the first year that they had done the Extra Life Only event. Mm -hmm. And so that was like a test run for them. So... So now they're merging the two. Okay, so we went to the Extra Life event. Yeah. That was hosted by Yellow City Comic Con. Exactly. This is Yellow City Comic Con with the Extra Life. People. Yes. Okay. So, so they're now like partnership with them. And then I'm sure we'll have an Extra Life event that is hosted again by Yellow City Comic Con. Okay, that makes sense. That makes so, sense. Yeah. I understand now. Um, so this yeah. is the best of both worlds. You're going to have best your of both. cosplays, your booths, your this and your that. And yeah. You're going to have the games and the this and the that. They're going to have tournaments. They're going to have Smash Bro tournaments. They're going to have uh, mm. uh, some other things as well, like I'm sure like Madden or What y'all need to do is y'all need to get a GoPro and mount it to your body somewhere and walk and talk to people. Yeah. If only we could live stream with it. There's a thing that I want to get that I, that I talked about the last time we went there. But it's called Sling, and it's like you can hook up all these cameras and these routers that go to one singular modem, and it hooks up to your computer, right? And if you hook them all up, they're all you can you can tra you can change them, switch hmm. cameras, stuff like that. So I'm all out. Um, 
But yeah, I think I think that would be a cool thing, but it's it's kind of expensive too. Yeah. So. Well. But anyway, I also have a few things. Um, they dropped the trailer for Solo, a Star Wars story. I saw a little snippet. I didn't see the whole schmagoigle. They they dropped a teaser yesterday. Or I'm sorry, they dropped a teaser on Super the Bowl. Um, Super Bowl day. Mm-hmm. Wait, and they said, what did you call it? Call it a schmagoigle. That's on Urban Dictionary, I'm pretty sure. Um, mm-hmm. It's also, you're using it the wrong way. No. Also. Uh, so, Multiple definitions. Well, that's the creator. He can say whatever he wants. Remember? But it doesn't count. It doesn't really matter. Like, whatever you say doesn't matter. Exactly. That's the definition of schmuckle. There you go. See? Mm-hmm. You just write. interject it with a word you can't remember. <laughs> anyway. Because you uh, never forget schmuckle. Yeah, they dropped the teaser for that on Super Bowl, and then they said the next day, on Monday, they're going to be like, we're going to drop the full trailer. And if you've seen the full trailer, it looks bad freaking ass, dude. It looks good. My whole thing is that I don't know if... I don't know how I feel about the solo. About Han himself. I don't know if it looks enough like him. Well, I don't know if it needs to really look like him as long as he can portray the guy. I mean, yeah. I just hope it... I just hope it's good. Yeah. I, I think it will be. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see the last Star Wars that came out. Good lord. Um... I also heard that old, uh, what's his name from Stranger Things, was the best player in the Super Bowl, because his commercials were like sprinkled in. You thought you were watching a different commercial, mm-hmm. and he would show up. It's like no, this is a Tide commercial, and he had like Tide in his hand or something like that. Oh God! It's like you know the old Spice guy. He'd be like, "I'm on a horse," and then he holds out his hand, and like sand bubbles out, and then it pops up as a Tide uh, container, and then this the the sheriff guy from Stranger Things, he's like, you're in my commercial, and this is a Tide ad. <laughs> and they're on like this double-edged Ooh. horse. That's good. I heard the Tide ads were everywhere, everywhere. which is great, because, you know, people always go to the Super Bowl, par- Super Bowl parties just freaking hungry, waiting to eat. It's, it's very good advertising throwing a food commercial in there. Speaking I wonder if they which, sold Tide Pods in, like, maybe the concession stands. Oh, my God. Speaking of which, what y'all Super Bowl hell? people, y'all are crazy. I work retail in a grocery store on Super Bowl. Y'all are crazy. Yeah. Do y'all do a Super Bowl party? No, I don't do a Super Bowl. Then y'all party. are exempt, but y'all, y'all are crazy. I'm, I ain't gonna deal with we, y'all. Uh, no, we were streaming that night. But yeah, for the Super Bowl, um, I did bet on it. On like the squares? Yeah, on the little squares. Yeah. You bet per quarter. Or, man, you could do anything really with it. Didn't win. No. Nah. That no, was a thing. How much do. were your squares? Uh, my squares were our squares were only uh, ten bucks a piece. So, I mean, that's not bad. No. But they could have been more, so. Um, uh, they had a couple. When you can't see her, but you can hear her, that's yeah. when you know something's going that's on. when you know shit's going um, down. They had a couple squares or a couple brackets yeah. going for a few of the places in the uh, park. Yeah. Um, I heard that some of the plant workers, they were doing squares, and the squares were like hey. 100 bucks a 150 piece. Yeah. bucks a piece. But you that's could nuts. win like thousands yeah. of dollars. Yeah. Those plant mm. workers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's like, here. Stone cold. More. More. Stone cold. Abby. Dude, you know what? Abby, Th- look. Not sponsored, but this is the best oh my God, fucking so jerky. Good. How can y'all heathens eat beef jerky? Oh, Jory, Jory, that's not beef jerky. That's tears from No, you. it's beef jerky. One day, says beef one jerky day on Jory, it. you will forget your you beef will, jerky hatred. I will never I'm telling eat you, Victoria beef will jerky be like, hey, again. Hey, Jory, try some of this jerky. And you'll be like, oh, that's pretty good, babe. And you'll be like, oh no, what have I done? Mark my words, I will never eat beef jerky again. I'll get pictures. 30 years later. No, never. I'm Two just saying. Years. That's the kind of beef jerky that you will eat. I, I won't. I mean, I can forgive you for eating the, not eating the paper thin cardboard construction paper jerky. I will that never eat bad. beef jerky again. All right, guys, listen, listen. I mean, I'm not saying... We went on a beef jerky road binge. trip. Okay? They don't need to know. Did they just know that beef jerky is now a forbidden part of my we past tried that I will never eat We tried most beef jerkies we tried most. from Texas to California. Yeah. That's the best one. This is the best one. It's the best one. Out of, out of that entire side of the country. Unfortunately, we never got that again after we left. Because you can't get it anywhere else. You can't else. get it anywhere now. They make it in Good. Oklahoma and they ship it down to Texas. That's it, man. Have Anyways. you ever eaten something so bad that you, it just ruined... It for you for the rest of your life, and not just it, but all the branching other types of it. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what happened to me. Okay, and now never I'm not going to diss again. on some people's favorite type of jerky on that trip, because you liked the paper thin. I was fine with it. 
He, he, he's fine with it, but me, like, it stabbed your mouth. And you had to just chew it and gnaw at it forever, and it was only like this much of it. No, I didn't like it. It was um, remember those like little like Listerine thin mint strips? Yes. Imagine that, but just made of like leather. It was bad. It was so bad. Leather and salt. And you could like crack it, and it was oh, it was sharp, sharp meat. Just think of that, just sharp meat. I mean, it was it was pretty good. It wasn't bad. Well, I mean. Out of beef jerky, it's like on my least favorite list, but it's I'll never still on eat beef jerky list. again just because of that. Victoria, huh. you need to get Jordan to eat beef jerky again. <laughs> yeah, you should tell him about that thin ass beef jerky. Like thinnest paper beef jerky you ever ate. I really hope that picks up. I don't know if y'all can hear. Come on closer. <laughs> come here. Come here, come here. Speak loud. Speak loud. Hi. Speak loud. Talk Hi. about, talk about, talk about the, the thin, thin ass beef jerky. Beef jerky. So, were we in Arizona? Uh, yeah. yeah, it was in Arizona. We were in Arizona on it our way It was in Flagstaff, to... Arizona. Oh, yeah. Flagstaff, Flagstaff Arizona yeah. on our way to, the, to, to Las the great... Vegas and then to California. Yep. But was it you, Scott? Or was it yep. you, Jory? It was Scott. No, it was Scott me. bought this beef jerky that was literally the consistency of paper. Razor paper! blade jerky. Did they hear that? <laughs> oh, I hear it. <laughs> no, we, we were buying beef jerky the whole time, We though. were buying it from there to there. We all bought different varieties yeah, and brands. Yeah, we bought lots it of was beef a, jerky. It was a big old subplot that we had going. You know what the best part was? Scott eats it, and he's like, oh, that's not too bad. And then Tyler like, tries it, and he's like, the fuck is this shit? <laughs> is that where you have like a beat? Like, beep, beep, beep. Actually, like, yeah, you beep. don't get demonetized? Oh, we actually, actually, yeah, we it's don't, too late. We don't care about demonetization anymore. I do. I want to be rich. Oh, sorry. We care about it. That's why we're sponsored by No Man's like Land Beef shot. Jerky. You don't. Liquid smoke added. Off. Liquid smoke <laughs> added for you. Here's the thing. Flavor. If we're, if we're going to become like partners with them, I can't Comment eat it because you can't ever. Comment down below if you want me to be on the podcast. <gasps> <laughs> I'm just no, kidding. There's going to be so many dislikes who are like, don't fucking do it or this will be every video. This will be every video. <laughs> I think it would be cool. Be so cool. I could sit down there with Abby. I'll sit right over there. I could sit down with Abby and we could just chill. Chill. We could be annoying together. I'm you just gotta, kidding. We act like you gotta be sure to knock over all of the things. Yeah. Still, Scott's beef jerky. He's got that no man's land stuff. Oh my god. If you don't live in Texas, you are missing out. This non spawn. Is, is this non -spawn. Just in Texas? You're not missing Oklahoma. out. No, it's uh, Texas? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oh, it's Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Bowie's, Bowie's. Well, I don't know shit. So <laughs> I thought this makes me think of Texas. Not That's Oklahoma. because it's good, and nothing from Oklahoma comes is, is good. Yeah. It's it's weird. It's the only thing. You're gonna make every person from Oklahoma unsubscribe to this channel. They shouldn't be subscribed anyways. Yep. Boise, Oklahoma. Wait, no, we don't have anything to worry about. They don't got internet up there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I'll wall. tell you something. I'll tell you something. We, Spencer and I, went to Oklahoma City on a like two day adventure to go see the Eagles, right? <gasps> Thank you. I kid you not. Going into Oklahoma City, the bitches got fed. <laughs> is like. It's like you're going into a different world because the roads that they said existed, they didn't. Like my GPS was telling me to get onto an on-ramp that wasn't built. Right. They were in the process of building it or tearing it down. I'm not sure. They are always fixing the roads down. It's like never ending. And it's like there was like only left-hand turns. And you get into this loop and you can't get out. It was, it was, it was like looping around the venue. Mm -hmm. And it was just like they had this walled off so you couldn't go right. So you had to make a left, and it was like the same thing over here. So you just in this big loop, and then we had to get gas, and we bumped the median, and almost got killed by a shady ass gas station. Oklahoma, don't go to Oklahoma City; it's dangerous. Don't go to New Mexico. Why? Hey, if anybody on here is from New Mexico, why is everybody from New Mexico an asshole? This is uh -oh. a serious question. No, no, because that's true. We went to a, Mexi a New Mexican restaurant, and in their gift shop, because they had a gift shop, they had a pinata they had texas written on it texas just texas just the word texas they got texas themed birthday parties there i'm just kidding you guys aren't assholes just the ones that we saw and the ones that drive <laughs> just the ones that are allowed to drive and no we the saw. ones that we saw no where was it it was mostly on our way back from california we stopped through and like everywhere we stopped in new mexico everybody was so salty where was that shitty place that we stopped because we were in the middle of nowhere the desert was that arizona no that was nevada right Oh, yeah, that was still in California, wasn't it? Was it? It was on our way back. It might have been. It was like on the outskirts, like we were almost in Arizona. Yeah. We stopped at this place that was like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like mm -hmm. that gas station they had. Like, it was like that. Do you remember that? And there was like that I long do. ass line, like everybody was trying to go to the bathroom. Oh, my there. God, it was so sketchy. Like, I remember that now. No, that wasn't California, I think. Right as we were about to leave. Yeah, maybe oh, wait, it was on the no, wait, that was when we 
were going into California, we did stop on a pretty isolated. Well, they had the Air Force too. Base too, and they were like had those drones and shit fly by, and they're like, mm -hmm. uh, the speed limit is is enforced by drones or some shit. They got like fucking pilots up in the sky who yeah. like no one is safe there. Y'all no. remember those trucks that had the explosives on them? No. They were driving by and we uh, we looked at the uh, the warning labels on the back and it was for live ordinance. Oh. Oh yeah. It was like that. truck after truck after truck and like they, they followed were us and we were following them and they were just like on the highway. They mm -hmm. were everywhere. Oh, by the way, um do you think that Scott and Jory should start vlogging because I think they should. <laughs> Abby, what, what, do you, what do you think, Scott? Or, I think it'd be, be interesting cool. to watch y'all vlog every once in a while. You don't have to do it all the time, but yes, I me. like watching vlogs, and I think you guys would be entertaining. We have the new Saturday. Well, yeah, that's a thing too. We have the new Saturday shows going up now, so we could like sprinkle those in there. I think what you need to do is put put an, a camera I think on it, Abby. Yeah, and see what she gets into. Her, oh God. her wacky antics. Just have a uh, you just have a, a lot GoPro. Of crotch licking, I think there would be a lot of crotch licking. Yeah, you're right. We don't need that. Yeah. Um, actually, dog cam. That would be kind of cool. That'd be fun. I have a GoPro. That would be cool. Um, see, just see. to see how many times she, she jumps go, up on the counter. You see her, like, run behind Oscar Archer and sniff their butts the whole time. Like, that's th what she's doing on the GoPro. I think vlogs are only fun, though, when there's something going on. So, like, we're boring-ass people sometimes. But you know what? There's some people that I watch, and they're just interesting people to me. Like, they're not even doing things sometimes. Yeah. No, no, you have to do it as often. Like, you, well, don't, have you, like a, you don't have to be, like, a vlogger 100% where you do it all the time. I don't know. I enjoy watching them, and I think it's kind of fun when we film together. You remember how we used to vlog, but then yeah. we never actually post any of it. We'd like start it, and then we'd forget to pull the camera back out, and then yeah. be like after the end of the day, like, oh, I vlogged for five minutes. Yeah. Mm. We vlogged that California trip. Sort yeah. of. Did we ever even do anything with it? Yeah, we put it up on Noonish. Yeah. Oh. Or was it Noonish? Yeah. I can't remember. I don't it was really on something. like to see myself on camera unless it's like a makeup video I'm doing myself. I never yeah. like seeing myself we on need, camera. We need to get a vlog camera though if we're going to do it. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Like a, I mean, they don't have to be expensive, but that that camera right there is probably not the best one to get for that. Oh no. Yeah. I would even use my phone. My phone's got great Yeah, your quality. your phone's actually really good quality. Like, Jory took some pictures so that we could send them to the artists they that are doing our. Uh, hey. hey. <laughs> uh, the artist that's doing our our shirts and uh, y'all's camera's pretty nice. It's a nice camera. Yeah. Yeah. Nice also, yes, we have merch coming out. Yay! Probably at the end of the month, we will have uh, a various selection of shirts. That's it. I think that's about it. Shirts, right? Uh, yeah, just shirts right now. Um, let us know what you'd want. Like, if a sweater, uh, a sweater. I mean, we could put them on anything. Sweaters, hoodies. We could we could put it on any apparel. Lambs, uh, crams, yams, um, beanies, potatoes. potatoes. Uh, beanies would be kind of cool. Wristbands, lapel pins. I thought about doing the yes thing uh the yes temporary on tattoos a, on a mug like a coffee mug or something yeah mm. strap on beards strap on beards <gasps> can your mom do that your mom's good at doing she already it. makes those i wonder if she could make the blue Glitter and orange beard. beards like a blue and orange beard yeah because I'm, I'm of our sure colors it like Dude. she either makes ones that are, it's on like a beanie and it's like up in there and it like covers yeah. your face or she makes ones with loops around your ears oh my god yeah she makes oh my god we're gonna have to hire your mom now That'd be awesome. She'd do it. She'd do it in exchange for money. Yeah, in exchange <laughs> for money. Yeah, we could do it by orders, possibly. Yeah. Or have give her the design for it, and then be like, we'll sell it, and then I don't know how we. I do mean, that, she's but. really fast about making them. Yeah. You just gotta tell her. So I'm betting if they, if you get an order, you tell her. She'll whip it up in a day or so. Give it to y'all. We don't want That's it to look handmade though. Oh. We want it to look like something you buy in the store. No, no. no I, her handmade stuff is cool. Her shit. stuff is high quality. It's very high She quality. made this sweater. <laughs> Jesus Christ! She did. She I was did. about to say, I'm pretty sure I saw that at Walmart. <laughs> I don't know. Where did you get that? When Gap. <laughs> I ever got this sweater. It just kind of appeared. After my first dad joke, it just appeared inside my closet. It said, I have chosen you, my child. And after every <laughs> dad along joke, with a sneaker, so. After every dad joke, I, think I get a new uh, article get a of new clothing. Sweater. He gets a new New Balance I sneaker. I do. Yeah. Hey, new go. Balance. Is that what no, you're no, wearing right there? No, those, these are Skechers, sir. I'm not, not even, any I'm not even better. Wearing my shoes but, right hey, no, they're not any they better. They are non-slip because I work in a slippery surface. You know what I wore when I worked up there? What? Nikes. Hey, no, I wore I wore a pair. And that, I never slipped. I wore them down to the sole. 
pay down to the very essence of its being, and I was slipping and sliding all over that place because people don't know how to clean up. Buy a new pair of shoes. You don't just got to buy one pair of shoes and wear them until they literally fall apart. They're so comfy. And I don't slip. You got to own variety. I own like seven pairs of shoes. That's money that I don't have. Look at these. These are Pumas. I don't buy Pumas. You never even heard of Pumas, have you? No. Puma and Adidas. Yeah. Yeah, Adidas. Adidas? Adidas. Is that what you said? Yeah. Puma, okay. Adidas, Skechers, Nike. Skechers. Don't even group Skechers in with the rest of those. Hey, Skechers or Skechers. Did you guys remember me from? Huh? My shoes remember me. Oh, God. Yeah. No, no, it's comfy. All right. On to the topic. Oh, yeah. Last week. Question um, of the week. Mason brings it to you. I can't remember. Oh, no. Mason explains it all. Mason, Mason explains it really all. really not hard to, to, to remember. I've, it's I've basically remember. Clarissa explains it all, but with Mason's name I don't know who name Clarissa there. is. You are not a 90s. It was uh, Melissa Joan Hart. I don't know who that is. It's Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Okay, I know who that is. It's the same girl. The okay. Crush of All Men. Just Everywhere. a different show. Uh, first off, that's TV Kids. We were a movie family. Sigourney Weaver. Uh, anyway. Aside from all that. Anyway. Aside from all you that. You know how Jory feels about Sigourney Weaver. They didn't have TV on on the farm. We didn't. Scott. We didn't. On a good night, we could get Amarilla. With the Amarillo by morning. Anyways, anyways, the question last week was how do you get kidney stones? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Apparently, there's a few different types you can get, mm -hmm. all made by various stuff inside of your body. Mm -hmm. um, kidney stones uh, form while your urine contains more crystal-forming substances uh, that your fluid can dilute. That's the technical answer. It can be calcium, oxalate, they're two different things, not calcium oxalate, it's calcium or oxalate, and uric acid. So if you eat those things in abundance... What foods have those in it? Oh. A majority of. Uh, uric acids, I'm thinking, is like real Yeah, You have a piece foods. of dog hair sticking right out of your speaker. <laughs> I didn't see it because I was looking at it straight on. I yeah. couldn't see. All right. That's all I could see. It says... Um, it says good news, everyone. Okay. Um, grapefruit juice, because I'm assuming the uric acid. Okay. Um, high oxalate foods like beets, raspberries, dark chocolate, and cocoa powder. And these okay. are things okay. that cause it? Yes. Hold on. Tell us which one of these, the person that we know that had one, most likely did. Because it's none of these vegetable-ish things Salt that Salt and sugary about. foods. Okay. That could have been it. Potatoes and yams. He loves potatoes. It could potatoes. Have been he loves his fries. He does. I remember potatoes. we used to go to IDK Bar and Grill, and his sides would be mashed potatoes and French fries. And French fries. And he would dip the French fries into the mashed potatoes. But that's a goddamn fries. genius right there. It's not. It's disgusting. Anyways, um, <laughs> get a vegetable. It's a lot of fucking potatoes. Like bro. get an actual vegetable, man. It's a lot of potatoes. I mean, yeah. Um, more than 500 milligrams of calcium. 2,000. He I drinks a lot of chalky milk. So that that is true. It. A vitamin D, also Sunny D. Sunny D? The Sunny D has vitamin D and it says not to drink. If you got a big jug of Sunny D and you're just drinking it all day, yeah. that's not good. Huh. I don't really care for Sunny D, so I guess that's It's not kinda... really orange juice. It's just orange flavored yeah, it, juice. Yeah, it's not, Most orange juice is just flavored. Thing. And I don't think there's any juice in it. It's just orange flavored liquid. It's also normally artificially colored as well. Yeah. So what's in... I need to... Right, yeah. I'm going to look up hey, what's in Sunny D. Hey, how about next week? What's in Sunny D? What's really in what's Sunny What's really D? in? We're going to go deep dive. You're going to dive real deep. Yeah. Gonna get on now, the, the real question should be, why would anyone ever get the pulpy one? Because that is That's, disgusting. Wait. Wait. Okay. There's a pulpy Sunny D. Yeah. Sunny D isn't made from oranges. They add something what in What is there. the pulp? Find out what... Oh, God. Find out next time oh, on Dragon Ball Z. But not just Sunny D, orange juice in general. Who yeah. would get the pulpy stuff? Pulp? Yeah. Yeah. Who buy pulp? Well, no, it's you, like, you it's like crunchy your, peanut butter. If you want to get your crunchy vitamin D's in, you got to get the pulp, right? I don't know. If the that's pulp isn't where the, the, the D I, is I don't know why located. you would get pulp then. I thought pulp was removed after like they figured out how to do it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just one of those things no one should do, just like crunchy peanut butter. Crunchy peanut butter is amazing. I I'm mixed because I don't eat it on bread anymore i just like eat it with you can bread. have some with like celery or something like that and if, if i do eat that it on a sandwich though you want creamy um, not unless you're toasting the bread if you're toasting the bread you kind of want a little bit of crunch in there if you're toasting the bread you already have the crunch from the toasted bread exactly nah, so you I don't mean, notice the peanuts it, here's the thing here's the thing about like why would you want to not notice the peanuts if you're eating crunchy peanut butter seriously